everybody, it's mid-May, and it is time for one of my favorite unboxings of the month. It is time for the Universal Yums Super Yum Box, and this time we are going to the Ring of Fire! Turn on the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire! Oh, you said you could do it. The Ring of Fire! Uh, but we are actually going to the Philippines, and I'm excited for this. This is a type of snacky that I've never had before. At least as far as I can tell, I might have, but I'm stoked because Filipino food is delicious. So Filipino snackies are probably going to be delicious as well. So just for full disclosure, we have we have behind mom. the scenes Karen and behind the scenes mom right now. She so waved, but you can't tell. We've got our our flag. flag. We've got our beautiful flag, and we've got there is a map on the we back. Do have here. our Hi. We got dropsy. Uh, we have our Yum Awards for the month, uh, but we... Oh, wow. Okay, we because this is... Out? We have. We did for Greece. Oh, that's um, true. But this is... Oh, my goodness. Okay, because we've got the Super Yum box now, that means we get even more stuff, and Mom is making a face at the first thing she sees, right? No, no, because it's written in English. Yeah. Oh. Some, so, some of these packages will be, I and think some of them for, might not be. There's something you're really gonna like here, I think. What? There's something but I'm gonna like. For the here? first thing I'm seeing, we've got Marty's Cracklins Vegetarian Chicharron. Spicy Very vinegar flavor. So is that um, like a non pork rind? We'll find out. Okay, so um, it is uh, perhaps to pretend you're on one of the thousands of beaches in the Philippines with a drink in one hand. What's in the other? Definitely chicharron or slices of deep fried pork skin. These crispy rinds are a wildly popular bar snack in the Philippines as well as every beach daydream. Chicharron isn't just served with beer, it must also be dipped, okay, more like drenched in a traditional vinegar dipping sauce. The sour sauce is amplified with bold ingredients like chopped onions, garlic, and a bit of crushed chili pepper. These vegetarian chicharron give you the full experience combining the lip puckering zest of vinegar right into the snack. The only thing that could make this yum better, a cold drink in your other hand, and maybe a beach. I want to try these. I'm I excited because I, I love that texture, like the, the pork skin chicharron kind of thing. So we've got that. We've also got, um, ooh, okay. Um, yeah, they do have a hot pepper on them. They might be, but. Oishi brand potato fries, tomato flavor. So I'm actually super stoked for these. I like, See, I like savory snacks, and I'm really happy to see that there's a lot of savory snacks. They are potato tomato flavored. Yeah, okay, so this is actually tomato, but it's not banana ketchup, which is a very popular ingredient in the Philippines. So we've got those. We've also got clover chips, chili and cheese flavored corn snack. I am, I am digging the amount of savory this time around. Not gonna lie. Very excited. Mom's like, oh, there's too many spicy things. All right, how about a fudgy bar? Ooh. Salted ooh. caramel cream-filled chocolate cake bar. That's probably good. Ooh. We got, the, <laughs> we got the fudgy bar. We've got boy bawang baked corn barbecue flavor. Is and that little guy boy bawang? I guess so. I like him. He's a pal. Oh, I've got it open right here. Oh, boy bawang means garlic boy in Tagalog. Oh, so bawang means Gar garlic. garlic. So that is him. Yeah, that's him. Uh, this just looks like, this looks like corn nuts, basically. A tasty snack that's baked and not fried. Crunch your way to satisfaction without ruining your diet. Oh, nice. Oh, and we've also got him. Oh, maybe we should try these, the adobo flavor ones. Oh, that's. We were literally just talking about adobo in the car. Yeah. We today. Were. So, I'm pulling those to the side. Everything's going to the side. We'll figure it out as we... Maca cake? Luscious maca flavor wrapped in a light, delectable sponge cake. I think it's probably mocha. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's mocha. Ooh, hang on. But we've also got cupcake. That's... Buko pandan cupcake with coconut flakes. So this is apparently a traditional Filipino dessert. So maybe we'll put this one to the side. Everything's to the side right now. Good lord. To the side. Everything's to the side. We've also yeah, we'll got. we'll figure it out when we. Oh, this is something break. I'm not going to be able to have. This is another spicy mango snack. We had a spicy mango snack last month. Was it Spain? Was it the Spain box last month? Well, you know what? 
But this is a chewy mango snack, green mango kernels. To put it lightly, Spain had a wide uh, sphere yeah. of influence that did include that is true. the Philippines. That is true. 1898 with the Spanish American War. Yeah. Uh, we've also got cheesy corn crunch. Outrageously spicy and cheesy. I guess these. Oh, these are cheddar jalapeno. Oh, are those gonna be like? These uh, are probably like flame and hot Cheetos. I, are flame and hot Cheetos cheese and flame or yeah. just flame? Then this is the one that I thought you were gonna like, Karen. We've got ube filled crackers. Purple guys. Purple guys. I, I'm excited. They're called pillows. I like those. I'm excited. Probably. Those are those are cool. I want to look these up. Um, we've got more ube stuff. Okay. Um, ube pillows, cookies with ube cream filling. Ube is basically like a purple sweet potato. So, I know it sounds really weird, but... Ooh, and then we've got... Okay, we've got some Hansel Mocha Sandwich Cream Filled Biscuits. Okay, that's um, mocha spelled the way we know Yeah, that's gonna spelled, be a yeah. pass for us because none of us like coffee. But then we've got the extreme Choco Coated Choco Biscuits with Choco Filling. That's a lot of different Chocos. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you asked, if we asked you to describe these cookies, you probably wouldn't use the word simple. Could well, be they good. Describe themselves as extreme. We've got also got a another fudgy bar. This is a macapuno flavored. That looks like the cupcake. Yeah. In color. In the so. color, but it's a different. I think it's, it's the same macapuno. brand. Macapuno is a naturally occurring coconut mutant. Hello, what? That, that is what it says. When you hear the word mutant, you might think of a superhero film, a video game, or a comic book villain. You probably won't think of food, especially appetizing food. But Macapuno, a naturally occurring coconut mutant, is an exception. Is that like a little as bald a coconut? As a result of their abnormal development, Macapunos have a soft, jelly-like coconut flesh as opposed to the typical thick, rigid flesh of a coconut. But it's not just the texture that sets Macapuno apart. It's also the flavor that's unique. Macapunos have an extremely high sugar content, resulting in a sweet, almost candy-like taste. This special fruit is considered a prized delicacy in Asia and is used as an ingredient in traditional desserts like pies, tarts, and cakes. This unique green, yes, it's supposed to be green, sponge cake is filled with a smooth, ma smooth macapuno cream for a treat that proves it's good enough, it's good to be abnormal. We have got yes. to eat the okay, coconut mutant. Okay, we have mutant. to try that. We gotta try this guy for that sure. Is, and they then said we've the word got, mutant, and I was like, mm mm, gotta Then try we got that. our yum bags. Oh man, okay, okay there's so two this, of them again. There's two yum bags again. This one is all. Small hard candies. There's Mr. Queso, Mr. Like Mice, queso? and Mr. Buco. Um, what? <laughs> what? Hang on. Let me see what these are in here. They've got to be in the the yum bag. Yeah, they'll pack. be in the. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, queso as in cheese. And what's Buco? Buco is milk. And mice is, uh, okay, so the Mr. Buko is, is a panda and chewy candy with milk filling. Mr. Mice is chewy sweet corn candy with butter filling. Okay, I was gonna say mice like, and like, like corn? Mace, yeah, like, like maize, basically. And Mr. Queso is a chewy cheese candy with cheese filling. Maybe like cream cheese, we don't know. This unique flavor blends cheddar cheese and sweet cream oh, together well, we for a know. sweet, tangy, and somewhat savory mix. Some people say it tastes like cheesecake, and some say it tastes like a nightmare. <laughs> That's what it says in here. I bet you I can make it taste like both. And then in here we've got... Ooh, okay, so there is... We've got polvorone... Okay, so it's like sh uh, shortbread. I've had this... I've had this before, but not quite the same. I've had this like a um, an Indian recipe an old friend of mine used to make. Um... Let me see if I can find the actual paper in here. Okay, so we've got... There's ube-flavored shortbread. There's cookies and cream-flavored shortbread. And... Uh, toasted rice-flavored shortbread. And the, that's the whole bag? Yeah, the so whole bag is just the little okay. toasted shortbread. Cookies and cream ones might be... So this is... We've got a lot to look through, a lot to choose from. We're going to pick about four of them, and we're going to come right back with the trial and the tasting. So we'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so we're back. We've sorted through and we have narrowed it down to five choices. One, two, three, four, five. And we had a hard time, so we picked three sweets. Well, okay. Okay. Two sweet, two savory, and one question mark. And spoilers for the three, for, for the question one mark. Of, one of the things, 
we each picked one of the, the hard candies. The hard candies, because I'm not sure. We're going to save these for last, though. This is going to be the last thing we try. Yeah. I think the first thing... Sweet or savory? We got to start with savory, because we're going to okay. need to repair with the sweet at the end. Okay, so first we're going to try the vegetarian chicharron. These could be remarkably hot. We don't know. Betcha by Goulet and hot. That could mean literally anything. Oh, well, there's a thermometer on the back that says these are very spicy. So I'm not going to make you guys eat them. I I'll, will try them. I'll try one. I'll. Mom is shaking her head. No. Mom cheated a little bit and opened one. Oh, wow. Oh boy! Oh man, I actually saw stuff coming out of really? that. Really? Yeah. Oh my god! I wish we could slow mo that. Can I? Oh well, you'll pass me that soon yeah. enough, won't you? So this okay. is okay. Pseudo chicharron. They look a little, they a smell, lot more like a trisket than I thought they were they going to. They smell huh? very vinegary. Yeah, they do. They don't smell super spicy, but they smell they smell like salt and vinegar kettle chips. Okay, yeah, you ready for this? Like Three, two. two. One. Oh Christ! They're tasty. <laughs> At first, but I was like, "Wow, are like, they spicy?" Just like hot and sour soup. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Ah! <laughs> That's a hit! Are you coming? pretty quickly though yeah it's actually oh, until you start breathing again yeah <laughs> I, I like these but holy shit are they spicy yeah it tasted so good in wow. like the first like yeah that little hot like sour soup bite that vinegar flavor is really nice and then it just freaking smacks you wow oh we got there's a lot of spicy stuff in this box so if you guys like spice Definitely recommend these, but this is like... You know what I'm going to say? This is I, not white people spicy. <laughs> this is this is I like rest am, of the world spicy. I am like the least Ooh. spicy person you'll ever meet. And I genuinely enjoy the flavor of those until it hurt. Yeah, basically. I liked... Okay, so now we're until trying... Until I was in physical pain, that was fine. <laughs> now we're trying the Boy Bawang, um adobo flavor. Now, we, Karen and I were actually just talking about adobo in the car today. Like, no lies, we were talking about... Yeah, because Elise, Elise got a... I got a spice box in the which, mail. if you're interested, we might film that. We might do that. something about that. I'm not sure. So this smells significantly milder, but also quite nice. So, Mom, you want some of these? They're just little corn. It should be adobo flavored, which is it like should be nice, nice. And, nice and pleasant. Okay? I'm not doing with the... Just spit it just out. Just spit it out, Mom. But she likes it. That's the problem. For the... Don't sh go to this. This is like... Ooh. All right. Mm. These smell really tasty. These smell meaty. Yeah. Three, two, oh, you one. you just put it in on top of your candy mug? No, I swallow it. Ooh. You swallowed your whole candy? No, Ooh. It was, it was like... Mushy. These are good. These are real nice. I like mm. these a what lot. What are they supposed to be? Adobo flavor. Adobo is a type of seasoning that you put on chicken or beef or pork. I know. This let mm. you know. Oh yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -mm. Yeah, I could, uh... I'd go to town on a bag of these, and I probably will, off camera. Yeah, give Mom a few more. Alright. So we survived the hot one. So we survived the spice, we enjoyed the savory, now we're gonna palate cleanse, and we're gonna move on to the sweet. I'm glad right. it wasn't an actual... Next Pork up, I, th rind. I think we're gonna try the ube crackers. Yeah. So now I'm these, a lot of these are, a lot of these projects are from the oishi. Oishi, brand. yeah. Which doesn't that mean delicious? Oishi means tasty in Japanese. I know that much, but I don't know if this has any sort of affiliation oh. with it. Oh. These this smell the squishy green. No, that's the next no, one. No, this is the this is the purple. This is the package. purple. So I'm gonna pass I'm you to. You like, they're like little cream filled. They look kind of like breakfast cereal in a way. Oh, you know what? They might. Give me the bag. I would like to look at it and smell it. There you go. It sure is. Perfect. Oh, they smell fantastic. Ooh, they're very tasty. This would probably make a fantastic breakfast cereal. Mm -hmm. as you said. So it's purple. It's ube, which is basically a purple sweet potato. It's kind of like mm. really mm. crispy bread. Like. 
white yeah. bread, but really it's so tasty. It, it is so tasty. These are really nice. Nice, it's nice. And the color inside. Yeah, it's it's, it's creamy and sweet. It's not cloyingly sweet. It's just a pleasant sweetness. It's so oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's it's like I, I get a very. Oh, this might be um, way before most of my viewers, but there used to be a breakfast cereal called Hidden, Hidden Treasures. Treasures. This reminds me a lot of Hidden Treasures. This has such a natural vanilla and yeah, pleasant. But I'm keeping that, some of Those these. are good. I like those. I would. All right, we are trying. I put those in a bowl. And eat Next, them, like, we are going cereal. to try the fudgy bar with the macapuno. This is the interesting one that we were really intrigued by. This is the, mute, this is the mute coconut. So here we go. Oh, it's like a little loaf. Yeah, it smells good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break off a piece for myself and then pass the rest to you guys. Oh. Hmm. It Mom, has a, one do you very, want? it's Ooh, very it's fragrant. Awesome. It's so, it smells sweet. It doesn't really smell heavily of like coconut that you're familiar with in the US. It has a coconut smell, but also like mm. just sort of like a fragrant fruity. This is bad. sort of smell. Coconut. But like a very light coconut. Like coconut water. Yeah. It's go really great with a glass of milk. Yeah. Or literally anything to sip. <laughs> mm. You know what would be even better if my mouth didn't hurt from the... Still? Yeah, from the oh, spicy... Okay. I'm sorry. Spicy fake skin. I mean, I told you you didn't have to drink it. I wanted to. I like experiences. I, mean, I like the texture of it. It's a little dry, but I like it. That's why you have to have a glass of milk. Yeah. Because now it's that time. Was okay. Very interesting. Yeah, that one was good. I liked that. Right. Now we have three different candies. One of okay. us has. Mom has the Mr. Buko, which is the milk candy. Karen has the Mr. Mice, which is the corn candy. And I have Mr. Queso, which is the cheese candy. Because at least is the recipe. I do. I mean, I do love cheese. I mean, I also love cheese, but I. But I don't know if I like. Cheddar cheese. Some people said it was the like cheesecake. That's true, and I do like cheesecake a lot. So and there's a lot of there's a lot of room between cheesecake and nightmare that could fall on. That's a that's a diverse. Do you need help with that, Ma? No, I found out how to do it. Okay. Three, two, two. fun. Oh, it is chewy. Shit, that tastes like corn. It's like I'm eating. You guys know the filling in those club cracker sandwiches? Oh yeah, gross. It's like that. <laughs> mom, mom is laughing quietly. Oh, hers is good. No, it tastes. It tastes like something that I know, but I can't tell what it is that I know. This is legitimately like I'm eating one of those club cracker sandwiches only with like sugar. This Ooh. the corn one's weird too because it tastes a lot like cream corn, like canned cream corn. I'm I'm getting canned corn. This isn't the worst. I'm sure I made some interesting faces, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be after a while. I bet you if you tried a second one, it would be good. Not on camera, but I mean like in general in your life. It's sweet and cheesy. That's so freaking weird. I don't have. I haven't gotten to the middle yet. Oh, but it tastes like a coconut candy. Oh, mm. a coconut cookie candy. Yeah, it's supposed to be coconut with like milk in the middle. Oh. So I know I don't really talk about the booklet a whole lot, but I do know that a lot of people use the booklet to do like homeschool lessons about the different countries. And I gotta say, this is pretty thorough. You've got like a little trivia section in the front. They, do they give you the answers? You do get the answers. Oh, then you good. get so you um, stuff. then you get the, the descriptions of the snacks. Then, once you get to the end, you've got- this is the stuff in the yum box, or in the yum bag. Then you've got little, like, information about the, um, like, the area. Like, okay, there's- there's different, like, tourist destinations and stuff here. Uh, then there's actually a science project down at the bottom. That's kind of neat. And then there's got a little section about folk tales. Um, there's- on the Universal Yums website, they make, like, a little- playlist so that you can listen to music from the country that you're visiting that month and it's anywhere from folk music to popular music to 
all kinds of stuff, and it's pretty neat. And then there's the answers to the trivia, and on the back, you get a clue to next month's box. Ooh, 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 what's our clue? Okay, in the land of the palms, they've got it all. Jungles and dances and lots of football. And let's not forget all the yums you can taste. Sweet bread, hot peppers, and creamy nut paste. Hawaii? Hawaii? Like that, I'm guessing Hawaii, too. It's the land of the palms. I don't know. I guess Where we'll just have from? to find out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching my Universal Yums unboxing. Thank you so much to Behind the Scenes Karen. Thank you so much to Behind the Scenes Mom. I hope you guys enjoyed the snackies for the month. If you guys would like to try Universal Yums for yourself, I will have a link in the description. I don't think I have a referral code or anything like that, so just click on through, check it out. Question of the day. Where they got nut paste at? Where do they got <laughs> nut paste at? My social media links are in the description below. If you'd like to see more unboxings from me, check them out at the end of this. Hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell. If you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Later!